Hi, this is Jenny with Simply Beautiful Crafts on behalf of Expert Village. For that cat lover in your family or a friend, today I'm going to show you how to make a pretzel wreath or a picture frame for that person who just loves cats. You're going to take your basic pretzel wreath that you've already shellacked or varnished or sealed and then you're going to take ribbon, whatever kind of ribbon you can find. I happen to find this wonderful ribbon that says meow on it. You want to weave your ribbon through your wreath. You always want to start behind and cross over a joint. A good way to measure your ribbon is to go once and a quarter or once and a half around your wreath and then you'll know about how much ribbon you'll need to weave in and out of your wreath. Weave it in and out. Remember you're bigger and stronger than the ribbon so if you don't like what it's doing stop, go back and redo it. If it gets folded, unfold it. Go all the way around your pretzel wreath with your ribbon until you get to the end which will be a joint. When you get to that joint in the wreath you're going to take your hot glue gun. You can use hot glue now because it will stay sealed once your wreath has been shellac. You're going to take your hot glue gun and lay a bead of glue right in the crease and then put your ribbon in there, seal it down and clip off any little ends. Then you're going to seal the other end as well. Once you've put ribbon all the way through your wreath, you're ready to embellish it. I found buttons in the craft store that had kittens on it and cats and butterflies and yarn. You can embellish your wreath with whatever you want. I highly recommend that you take your pieces and lay them out and play with them a little bit before you glue them on. Get them exactly the way you want them to be and then glue them on. I put a little bit of hot glue on the back of the button, glue it on and put it in place. It works just fine. Then the last thing you want to do is put a ribbon at the bottom. So I make a ribbon for my wreath and I like to use wire to secure my ribbon. So I use this wire which is easy to cut and secure. If you choose to turn your ribbon in, in your wreath into a picture frame, just take your picture, find something round that's bigger than the hole, center it up, draw around it, cut it out, and glue it on the back. Or you can put a piece of oak tag there and just glue it at the bottom so that person can put the picture of their own kitty in it. So if you have a cat lover in your family that you want to please, this is how to make a cat lover wreath or picture frame from Simply Beautiful Crafts.